Hi, in this demonstration, I'll show how we're going to create a new project with project membership records that prevents users from adding new memberships unless they match or they get up to 100%. We're going to start by creating a new project. I'll go here, create a new project, and call it Viz Apps Video Demo. I'll select an account record, which is really important for this case because the account record is what will bring me or will pull up the first project member into the record. And I'll go ahead and save and close. Once the record is saved, it will go ahead and call a Power Automate flow that will retrieve the account record. And from the account record, it will get the primary contact and create a new project member record. If I go back to my project record and open the same record, I'll see that right now I already have a new record in it and the member was added to it. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Canvas app that was created for this. I'll go to the Canvas app and first I'll go ahead and refresh my list of projects. and pull the Canvas app or play. I'll remove the existing membership and I'll select the new project membership that I just created. In this case, I call it Biz Apps Video Demo. I'll click on Go and you will see that I have a single member and the total membership percentage is 100%. I'll click on the plus button to add a new project member. And this will show me a list of contacts that have a role of business decision maker. It will not show the first or the existing contact that I already added to the list before, since I'm removing that from the list. I'll select the contact, I'll add a percentage to it, and select the membership start date. I'll go ahead and click the check mark, and maybe I'll go ahead and add one more. You will see now that Nancy Anderson and Paul Canna do not appear in the list. I'll select another one, select a different start date, and change the percentage to a different number. So right now, <clears throat> the next thing that I want is basically go ahead and save this record back to the database, or back to my database environment. The save button is disabled, and the main reason is because my percentage is 165. I need the percentage to go back to equal to 100 in order for me to save the record. So I'll go ahead and make some changes. 50, 30, and 20, that should equal to 100%. And I'll save the record. Once the record is saved, I can go ahead and go back to my project record. I'll refresh the record. And I'll see that all records are in here and change. And the primary record, or the one that was created with the project, is marked as is primary. Now we'll go back to the ball app, and I'll refresh this. <coughs> and you will see that this primary record does not have the trash can next to it, because this, this is set as the primary. Now I'll go ahead and delete one of the project memberships. It will mark it as red that this is deleted and change the percentages again. And click on the save button. If I go now back to my project record and refresh it, I'll see my 6040 record. And I'll see also the last record with a zero percentage and a membership end date of 131. This record is inactive in the system. If I want to open the record, I'll see that the status is inactive, but I'm still showing it in the subgrid to have a history of the project membership. Now let's go into the app and see how this was built. So, 
<coughs> once I select the project, this is basically showing me the list of all of the projects that I had in the system. I click on the Go button and I add all of my existing project memberships into a collection. And I also add all of the available contacts into a different collection where the role is the decision maker. And I'm mar marking the is available is true. I then go through the list of project memberships and for every project membership that is part of this available contact, I'm marking it as not available so that once I try to add a new member to the project, it will only show me the list of users that are not part of this list that I have here. My, my delete action is basically what allows me to delete a record and it's based on the is primary field. So if I try to take a look at my delete button, it marks any one of the project memberships as, or the one that I selected, as the percentage equals zero and it flags it as is deleted uh, equals true, which I later on, when I try to save the record, I check for that condition to mark the record as enabled or disabled. When I add a new record, I look at my condition for the check mark, and I check that the contact has a value, and if the contact has a value, I create a new project record by providing the project ID, the contact ID, the name, the percentage, the date that it was added, and I set the is primary and deleted flags to no. I also mark the patch the available contacts so that this available contact or this contact that I just added to the application is no longer available. And finally, I reset the values for the dropdown or for the combo box. Once the member has been added, I can go ahead and save the record. I'm going to have click on save the record. And I loop through the collection of all project members. <coughs> I checked if there is a project member ID, meaning if the record or if there is no project member ID or if it is blank, meaning this is a new record, I'll call the patch command and create a new record. I look up the project, the contact, and I set the is primary to false, the member added date to the date that it was added, and the percentage to the percentage that it was added. If there is an existing value, I set the percentage, I set the member removed on in case the member was actually removed, and the status to active or inactive based on whether the member was deleted or not. So that is basically it. You can use this kind of functionality to control adding or removing any type of record into the system when there is some pre-existing conditions that you have multiple related records. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and please keep viewing the channel. Thank you.